when you're doing an enucleation, um, when you go and you get that eye out, it's very important that you not put too much pressure at the back of the eye because you can damage the optic nerve and actually cause damage to the other eye. So one of the great things about using Betty gel in these cases is that when you remove that eyeball, you can go ahead and put the Betty gel in. It stops the bleeding and you don't have to worry about ligating or holding pressure or anything like that. You can just put your Betty gel in and keep going with your procedure. Amputations are a common procedure for us to do. Betty gel is great for these cases because you get lots of little bleeders in the muscle and in the areas of trauma. It cuts out a significant portion of time during the surgery when I'm able to simply apply the gel. Other procedures that I really enjoy using Betty gel in, one is in mass removals. As we all know, mass removals can be quite bloody and just like in an amputation, being able to quickly stop that bleeding, put that Betty gel on, so instead of having to clamp and ligate, is quite useful. I also really love using Betty gel in dentistry. Many of the animals that come to our shelter have never had dental care throughout their life. And so um, we see a lot of those trench mouth type cases that need many, many extractions. Betty gel helps to speed those procedures up, leading to significantly less time under anesthesia, which makes it easier on the patients to get through and get into recovery.